Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. What I've got to do here is get some birdie badges. And this is actually more like a highlight reel of stuff that I've already done, and I'm post-commentating it here. But uh, to go and get the birdie badge, you got to go to the main menu and then go to the tournament mode. Otherwise, you won't be able to collect them. But anyway, um, the uh, first solo here, for some reason, I did not birdie him. I'm not really sure why, all things considered, since it's like really straight out, but it was probably because I was getting used to my character and whatnot. So yeah, just look what happens here! <laughs> yeah! Right off the bat, chip in eagle! <laughs> and the second hole here, I also didn't get a birdie badge on. All the, all the holes that I'm going to be showing this part, and the next part are holes that I didn't get a birdie badge on, and I'm just catching up on them and whatnot. The, hence the highlight reel thing. So I fire off my drive way, way up here. This is, yeah, this is miles away from where I used to drive before. And it really goes to show where your character is, uh, I mean, your character's potential as, uh, as you grow. And then I just decide to fire off a ball on the down slope and let it roll over to the hole. And sure enough, two holes in a row! <laughs> Chip and Eagle. Yeah, I just could not believe that. <laughs> but as you can tell, even if I didn't get those in, you know, if I was like a inch or two off, the ball was just trickling down there and I'd be able to easily make my putt uh, back for birdie. But still, <laughs> for that to happen twice in a row is crazy. Uh, this hole right here, I can almost drive with my character stats. I need to power them up a little more if I want to drive the green. But right now, I came really close to bouncing up there off the fairway. Uh, for now, I'm just going to try and bump and run it up in the hole. No, not this time. <laughs> that would be fun, though. And yeah, just a little tap in for birdie there. And then we move on over to the 14th hole. And I, I don't think I buried this one because it was just like, it felt really long for my character and it was, it was just kind of difficult for that point in the game. But now, it's like a whole other game. <laughs> Although, uh, the fairways that you have to hit to uh, when you have a higher drive are thinner. Uh, so the, the game designers plan that out pretty well, you know, for your character's increased drive, because it still, it still gives you a little bit of a precision test as you, you know, you, you shoot further out. I mean, you could aim for the chunkier part of the fairway, but, you know, it's, it, it would be, in theory, more te I mean, it would be easier to get down the green when you're closer to the green, so hence the temptation of going for the thinner part of the fairway. So yeah, that was a pretty easy birdie and straightforward overall because of that uh, higher drive. And then this one here, I wasn't quite sure where exactly I should aim, and then I was kind of unsure about my shot, so I miss hit. Yeah, it's just kind of a kind of a sad shot overall, but really it was okay. <laughs> it still ended up in the fairway because that was a wide portion. I was kind of planning for any potential miss hits, hence why I aimed over there. And then I was just carefully aiming over there. This is the wind is my face. I can hit this at full. And then it just plops over there and lets the, ro the slope roll it down just a little bit. And then it's on the flat spot. I don't have to move the cursor at all. And sure enough, goes right in. <laughs> now we're going over to the 17th hole. No cuts. Because. Because. Hole in one! No, I'm just kidding. But uh, it's basically I did two holes in a row here. I, I, I kind of refined this in later in the later video actually, in that I, I figured it was a little bit faster to cut out the scoreboard. But for now, I'm just you know just going right here. <laughs> just didn't do any cut there, and it was just a really straightforward birdie. No hole in one. I was just kidding around. All right, going to the Palm Club now. Again, first hole didn't birdie for some reason. <laughs> I just don't know how that works. But here we go. And I don't know it's what those compression artifacts or whatever the heck that is, because that appears in the actual video recording of the game, and it only does it sometimes. I, I don't really get that, but it's just been happening. It doesn't really affect any, the integrity of the walkthrough or anything like that, but it's just been like, wow, why is it doing that? <laughs> and anyway, this hole was a really straightforward play, as you could tell. I mean, it's just really, really easy for me now to just plunk balls on the green on the second shot for par, uh, par fours because, yeah, higher drive, it's just like a little, it's bomb and gouge, basically. <laughs> Hit it far and then use a little wedge to get it on the green. 
And over here, I'm aiming as far as I possibly can, even if it is to the thin part of the fairway, just because it makes it easier. Uh, even if I miss it over there, because, you know, there's there's no trees over there. So there, it's not really a big deal. And then I hit um, 8 iron, so it's not a wedge this time, but it's pretty close. <laughs> 8 iron is a pretty easy to hit a club. IRL. And here it flies, and it's gonna drop down nice and soft, right on the edge of the green. This is kind of a tricky putt though, I gotta watch how far to the left I play this. See, I'm aiming way, way over there, I even adjusted a little bit more to the right there, because uh, I, I noticed I was a little bit too far out, but then I realized after my putt that I probably should have kept it there, uh, because as you've seen it finished on the right side of the hole, but it, it still went in, so I can't complain. <laughs> and this one... I fire out to another thin portion of fairway. Well, sort of. I was aiming to the thin gap on the upper ridge, but then it just rolled down to the lower area, but it doesn't really matter though. <laughs> and then what I decided to do here is sand wedge, because the, the slope of the green is going to roll it over to the hole. Or at the very least, I'll have a really straight putt to the hole, so I figured, yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice and simple, even if I don't get up to the hole. And that's what happened, I didn't get quite up to the hole. I wasn't aiming to hit in at such a distance, you know, it's not like those little chip and runs, I mean, not a bump and runs that I do with the two irons that I hit in, and yeah. We go over to the eighth, which is a power three, and probably, I don't remember why I didn't get a birdie on this one, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Maybe I missed a putt or something like that, I don't know, but... Well, I'm gonna get a birdie here now! <laughs> and a pretty pretty straightforward birdie here too, because I hit, hit over to the front edge of the green, or I should say the front portion of the green, where the, the slope is straight to the hole, and I just pop butter in. <laughs> I didn't try to thread the needle, needle or anything like that, I just put it in. Now over here, watch this, watch this. I can hit all the way over to the other side of the river, even with a less than perfect power shot. <laughs> Just look at this. It comes really close, but not too close. I mean, it, it was it hit what it looked like the the semi rough just before the fairway, but still still relatively far past the water there. So I had a pretty safe carry no matter what uh, with the wind. Then yeah. <laughs> And this one I just plop up on the green with a sand wedge. I was aiming for the nice flat spot there, because it doesn't really matter when I put my ball there as long as it's on the flat spot and uh, on the side of the hole, so... Yep, so let's go over to the Doom Club now, because there's a couple more birdie badges I gotta grab over there. And uh, let's just fire one off over to the fairway, hopefully. Yeah, this is an okay shot. <laughs> In fact, it bounces off the, the corner there, you know, that, that little indentation of the fairway, and then bounces into a more centered place, and then it rolls off to the right a little more. But anyway, I'm gonna shoot the ball right over here, let the wind do its thing, but I don't think I don't think I hit it, really hit it far enough here, no I didn't, but I got sort of a, a lucky landing in that it's really straight to the hole, and I didn't really have to adjust my putt all that much. So I'm just aiming a little teeny tiny bit left, and not even hitting at full power, because the break is just so much there, and it rolls right down to the hole. Uh, fifth hole here, yeah, I got a, got a kind of tight landing area here for my character's drive. As I said, uh, the further you drive, the tighter your landing areas will likely be on the courses, as it is the uh, risk-reward sort of thing that they built into the game, which is pretty clever. And look at that, my ball go right between the cactus arms somehow. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but it worked. At least it looked like it went between the cactus arms. And I'm gonna put my ball right over there. Or am I? No, no, I'm just gonna kinda angle it a little more, because there's a lot of wind here. And then I hit my ball up there. Remember, lots of wind here, and when the ball hits the green on the fly, there's a lot more roll, which I planned for, and look at that, it rolls all the way up to the hole. It wasn't quite at the angle that I was hoping for, but it's it's straight enough that, you know, I can just put it right in. <laughs> Bloop! Oh yeah, another birdie under my belt. So, seventh hole now. Uh, look at this landing area now that I have for my uh, drive here. I got a slope, a bunch of cacti, or cactus, or cactuses. I looked it up that those are all correct, actually. <laughs> yeah, I actually took the time to look it up. But uh, I, I tried to resist the wind there by uh, curving the ball right to left, but I, I did it a little 
a little bit uh, too much there, and yeah, I, I mean, the wind wasn't enough there to resist my draw, and I ended up in the rough. But it doesn't really matter, because this shot ended up, well, I should say this hole ended up pretty fine. Like, this this ended up short of the, the hole there, or even the green, but, but, I'm pretty sure you can tell how this is gonna go, yeah. <laughs> it's that two iron of death. <laughs> I should say, the death of holes. Now this, uh, I can, this one I can definitely tell why I didn't get a birdie badge the first way through. It's, uh, without a high shot, it's pretty tricky to land on the green, and even with a high shot, it's pretty tricky to land on the green. But uh, I just want to carry the bunker here, that's the most important thing, so I, I kind of aim a little hard, uh, just to make sure it ends up past the bunker and on the fringe or whatever, it, or wherever it wants to land. And then I just, you know, just plop her in there, like, or do I? <laughs> yeah, I juggled around there. <laughs> Alright, this is the last hole. 14th! Par 4, 418, lots of 4s here, let's fire one off into the fairway. <laughs> so it goes all the way over here, hits the cactus, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because it's it's just, you know, it's right in the fairway anyway, and then there's a clear shot over to the green, and, or, or, or is there? So what I gotta do here actually is, uh, hit a ball right to left to try and get it to the hole. I try to make the, make sure that I clear the cactus, and then it ends up a little bit too far right than my liking. But since, you know, I gotta get birdie badges, I'm pretty sure you know how this ends. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.